Hi, my name is Rob from RobLoFoto.com and in today's video, we're going to be looking at how you can take a multi-camera setup and uh, where you're recording audio separately as well through something like the, um, I don't know if I have to see this or not, let me pull it out, through something like the Zoom H1. Um, and uh, so you're taking lots of different video, lots of different cameras, recording the audio separately, and then we're going to put it all together in Adobe Premiere Pro CC to sync it, and it will work fabulously. So as an example of the setup that you may want to use, now this setup's a little bit complicated for home use, um, but it's just to kind of show you what we're capable of. So my main camera is the EOS 600D T3i. Um, fabulous camera, fabulous quality. Hope you can see that as well. My second camera is a Fujifilm S5700, which is gamely, reco sorry, gamely recording at 60 by 480. That used to, I haven't used this camera for several years. It was my first contact cam first compact camera, really good. I've also then got a third camera, which is this um, which is my Logitech webcam. Now the idea with the webcam um, attached on a little gorilla pod is that I'll be able to sort of demonstrate um, things so you can see them nice and close um, and then if we go back to the 600D <laughs> um, the kind of the next kind of thing um, uh, the next kind of um, camera if you like is the uh, OBS which is recording the screen on my computer which you can you can see here where I've got Premiere Pro set up and I've also obviously got my uh, show notes on there as well so if we then go back to the 600D and then across to the Fujifilm 5700 and then we're back on the webcam and back to the 600D so this kind of setup would be an absolute it would be very difficult to do it by yourself at home. Um, in the, you know, up to a few years ago, yes, you could do it and um, you could sync it up, but it would take an awful lot of time. But hopefully, what I'm going to show you in this tutorial is not only how to sync all the video up, but also when you're trying to get better audio and you're recording it sort of uh, uh, separately as well, using something like the Zoom H1 and the AT, uh, this is the 3350 lav mic, it, it, it all comes together very, very easily. Um, um, and the reason why you would record the audio separately, obviously for, it would sound a little bit better in terms of quality, but it also gives you a lot better, um, uh, it gives you a consistency across what you're doing as, as well. Now you may well have reached this video because you're very frustrated with Premiere Pro. CC, you've had a go, you've heard it will do this feature, but maybe um, it's not doing it the way you want it to. So if we have a quick look at Premiere Pro. So the, the thing is about this technique is you do not use the timeline. You do not use the timeline to sync up your tracks. Um, here's an example of a video where I did use it to sync up tracks and it is a right nightmare. And the way you do it is you kind of select things and then you select a few tracks and then you go to synchronize and it should sync it. Now, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it works if you do it with uh, two tracks. I've seen videos on YouTube where people do it with several tracks. My experience is very hit and miss. It doesn't work all that often. Um, the way to do it is not in the timeline. The way to do it is in your project bin. And what you do is you import all your videos, all your video clips into your bin. And then all you do is you select them and then you right click and you create a multi-camera source sequence. And then what you get out of it is something that will look like, if we carry on going here, this, where it kind of sticks all the video streams together into one kind of long file and then we can edit between them to change the camera positions. Um, however, don't worry about that right now. We're gonna go into that detail in just a minute. Um, um, really just uh, have a look at you know this sort of setup how easy it is really I mean I'm no expert at all this stuff I'm a beginner to Premiere Pro I'm a beginner really to trying to do quality video on YouTube on great and producing rubbish ones but this kind of thing where we have a main camera we have a secondary camera we have a third camera and then we also have 
the uh, screencast stuff and then back to the 600D, I think it's absolutely amazing um, that we can actually do that. So what we're going to do now is, what, well, what you need to do now is fire up Premiere Pro, um, start up a new project, import the clips and the separate audio if you've got it, and then you can follow me through the next bit of video when I show you how to bring everything together and then edit it into, well, what you've just kind of seen now where we've been flashing between different camera views. So stay tuned, do that little bit, and I'll see you in a sec. Okay, so we've got Premiere Pro CC fired up. I've already put in my titles, how to sync multiple cameras and separately, separately recorded audio in Adobe Premiere Pro CC. I hope I've spelled that right. I'm going to have to check that in a minute. Um, Premiere Pro, P-R-E-M-I. No, I've got that around the wrong way. Tell us, quickly go in and change that, shall we? We can't have it, can't have it wrong to start off with and have everybody uh, laughing at me, can I? Du, du. So Premiere Pro goes I E. That's better. Good. So that's all kind of um, I've put that in already. So what we need to do now, what I need to do now is copy into my project bin in the left hand side here um, the uh, all these different uh, camera angles and audio that I want to use. So I've put them all together. Uh, I've already looked at the audio and I've already put it through Audacity and the levelator to remove the noise and increase the compression and do the levels, all that sort of business. So the audio is ready to go. So we've got a 600D, which was the main camera. I've got my audio. I've got the C920 webcam, which was doing the close up. And I've got the S5700, which was doing the side shot. And then I've got my screencast. So let's take these, let's drag them into the project bin on Premiere Pro. And it's just going to import them all. And then it's going to do its business um, getting them already, which it looks like it's done already. That's good. Now remember that the trick to this is all the different audio streams that have been recorded in all the different audio, sorry, all the different video cameras must be recording audio at the same time. Now, especially if you're doing a screencast, make sure that the laptop or your computer is recording audio as well. Um, that's very, very important. And uh, especially actually if you're doing so for example with me I had my uh, Logitech C920 HD webcam which is this video recording audio as well however what I had to make sure was that the video that's been recorded from the webcam was being recorded with the audio from my laptop so that the screencast software could use that audio as well so what we need to do now is we just need to select all these clips so the 600D the, uh, the, the, the audio that was recorded separately on the Zoom H1 with the uh, lav mic, the screencast, the 5700, and I think that's it, isn't it? So we've got screencast, side, close-up, audio, and right, there we go. Then we right-click, and we go to create multi-camera source sequence. And then this dialog pops up. It's going to call it multicam, fine by me. And then we want to synchronize it via the audio. This is really important there. So it's going to look at the different audio and sync, sync it up. And we're going to use track channel one. Obviously, most of these, well, I say most of it, no, the, um, if we're recording in stereo, obviously you've got one channel one and channel two, um, but channel one's fine. Move source clips to process clips bin. That's to say that they're out of the way so we don't get confused. Um, and that's it, really. Then we just say, okay. So now it's going to do its business. So. It's looking at all the video clips, it's looking at the audio tracks in those video clips, and it's shuffling them around, it's lining them up. It's taking that separate audio file and making that um, the main uh, audio for this particular clip. And it's kind of jumbling them all together into our multicam clip, which is here. So our original clips are now in this process clips bin. So they're hidden away so we can't muck around with them. And our main one is now where it says 600D main movie multicam. This is where it gets really exciting now. So now I can just grab that over onto the timeline and we'll put it right there. Just line it up with my title. There we go. Now at the moment it just looks like it's, it's a different color isn't it? It's green, but it just looks like a normal sort of video track. But what is actually in it is if we click on it, there's lots and lots of different pictures. Let's move the uh, video head along. Uh, it's just going to take a little bit of time to catch up. My uh, laptop isn't the fastest. 
So let's just let it do its business so it can um, process. Remember, there's an awful lot of data here for it to uh, look at. So let's see what happens when it clunks over. There we go. So to start off with, there's, there's only the one camera that's being displayed because that's the only one that's recording at that particular time. So when you know when you see this, don't worry. That's all that's just all that's happening. Then what will happen in a minute is I should sit down, and um, then the other cameras will start to clunk in. So let's um, press stop there. Now what you've got to do here is you've got to toggle the multi-camera view, which is that one. So if I press that now. What you can see now is, just before I sat down, I turned on the S5700. If you can't see the multi-camera button, which is that little square one with the other ones, you click on, I think it's plus there, and then it'll appear here, and then you select it, and then there it is. So what we're gonna do now is, we're just gonna play it through until I start talking. Now remember, I'm setting everything up here, get my hair right. <laughs> Pressing record, doing my normal head wobble that I tend to do. Don't worry that the fact that this video clip here is very, very small. I'm sure, right, there we go. I've turned on the, uh, in fact, let's turn the audio up. So you might be able to hear it. Maybe. Not yet. Okay, here we go. Hi, I'm Rob from RonaFoto.com. That's where I start talking straight away. So let's just... Um, Make sure that that's all good to go. And uh, let's just see where we've got. So there we've got all of the four tracks playing away. That's where I'm looking around. Hi, my right, so that's where I start talking. So I'm just going to knock it back a little bit. In fact, I could use the arrow keys, can I? Now remember, this, this does put a lot of strain on your computer to do this. So I'm just using the arrow keys now to back it off to find my split point. So now, so that's where I really want to start. In fact, we'll go back a little bit further. So I'm just going to press C to bring up the cut tool. I'm going to chop that off round about there. And then we're going to press V to get the select tool. And then I'm just going to delete that lot and then I'm going to slide this back up. So we're good to go. In fact, what I might do is I might just double click that just to put a uh, whoop, little bit of a transition in just down there. So that'll put a little transition in. Okay, so now this is where it gets fun. What's going to happen now is we're actually going to be recording um, a um, it's almost like we're re-recording the, uh, the, the presentation, we're re-recording the video, and we're in the control room. And what we do is, if you see at the top here, we've got this yellow box around here. So that's the main view we're going to see in the timeline. And then when we want to cut to the different views, all we do is we click on them. Okay, so let's, so let's see what that means. So let, let's start it playing. Hi, my name's Rob from RumlandPhoto.com and in today's video we're going to be looking at how you can take a multi-camera setup and uh, where you're recording so what I could do separately as well. I could then, like the, just um, wait for me to save this a little bit. To see this or not, Let me turn that down a bit. Like the Zoom H1. Um, and uh, so you're taking lots of different video, lots of different cameras, recording the audio separately and then we're going to put it all together. So I've Pro just Pro moved Pro to that one. CC to sync it. Move to that one. Work Move to that so, one. Move to that one. An example of the setup that you may want to use. Now this setup's a little bit complicated for home use, um, but it's just to kind of show you what we're capable of. So, so here we go. Main camera is the EOS 600D T3i. Right, here we go. Fabulous camera, fabulous quality. Hope you can see that as well. My second camera is a Fujifilm S5000. So we've switched setup, to that one. Which is gamely, reco sorry, gamely recording at 60 by 480 that used to, I haven't used this camera for several years. It was my first contact cam, first compact camera, really good. I've also then got a third camera, which Back is- the, Into the close-up camera. This, um, there it is. My Logitech webcam. Now, the idea with the webcam- Let's just turn this down a little, gorilla pod, a little bit. I'll be able to sort of demonstrate uh, things so you can 
Yeah, that's better, isn't it? Right. And close. Um, and then if we go back to the 600D. Back to the 600D. Um, the kind of the next kind of thing, um, uh, the next kind of um, camera, if you like, is the uh, OBS, which is recording the screen. Onto the screencast. The just again, I'm just clicking on it as we go. So it's like we're live switching the um, the audio. Sorry, the video. Back to the 600D. Across to the Fujifilm 5700, the and then we're back on the webcam and back to the 600D. So How cool is setup. this? This is absolutely, absolutely amazing, yeah, isn't it? it really, yourself. really, really good. Um, the, you know, after a few years ago, yes, you could do it, and um, you could sync it up, but we take an awful lot okay. of time. So you're kind of getting the idea now. So what I'm doing is I'm just going to pause the screencast and do the rest of it, and then we'll fire it up again in a second. Okay, so we're getting near the end now. I've just got a couple more edits to do, and then we'll be into the real meat and potatoes. So let's just uh, carry on with this and do a few final edits. There we go. Some switches coming up. This kind of thing where we have a main camera, we have a secondary camera, we have a third camera, and then we also have the uh, screencast stuff. And then back to the 600D. I think it's absolutely amazing um, that we can actually do that. So what we're going to do now is what, you, well, what you need to do now is fire up Premiere Pro, um, start up a new project, import the clips and the separate audio if you've got it, and then you. Almost the finished. Video when I show you how to bring everything together, Here we go. Edit it into, well, what you've just kind of seen now where we've been flashing between different camera frames. So, stay tuned, do that little bit, and I'll see you in a sec. Okay, so stop the video there. Now, you might well notice when I stop it, all of a sudden, all these little edits suddenly appear, and that's where it's switching between the different views. But what I need to do now is I just need to cut this end bit because I don't want that extra bit. So let's cut that uh, with the C. Let's go back to V with the select tool. Um, in fact, probably need to cut, cut the audio as well. So, uh, v to go back to select tool. Let's do that. Now, what we're going to do now is quite simply just go back and you may remember the problem we've got here is that our um, video sources are different sizes, aren't they? Let's just deselect that. So what we need to do is as we select each source, we can actually change its size. So if we double click on that one, you may well see, what have we got here? Oh. There it is. Let's have a look. Let's double click on that one there. Which is that one. And then double click on that one. Click on that one. Right, so what we're going to do, we're just going to click on this first source. And then all you do is you go into effect controls. Let's move our audio head so we can see what we're doing. So now see how it's it's small. <laughs> because it's the S5700, which is only recording at um, 640 by 480. So now we go into motion and we want to scale it up and we just click and roll our mouse or our trackpad to the right. And it's going to hopefully fill the screen. Now, you know, this ain't going to be good quality audio from this camera because it's a cheap little camera. It's probably about eight years old, but you know, for the purposes of what we're looking at, it's going to be fine. So that's good. So we like that. Let's zoom in a little bit so we can actually see what we're doing. So the next one we want, let's roll this around. Um, that's the um, that's the webcam. So again, we want to double click on that one. And then we want to make it bigger. So it fills the screen. I mean, there might be a little board around the outside, but that will do. Then what we got? Then we've got the screencast. Let's move the head along. Screencast again, it's a little bit smaller, isn't it? So we want to scale that up so it fills the screen. Right, 
like so. 600D, that's going to be full size, so that's cool. And back to the S5700, so we double that. Again, go up here to the left, effect controls, motion, and scale it up. So it fills the screen as much as we can. There we go. Roll on a little bit further. We've got, again, we've got the close up, which is the um, webcam. So again, we go into motion and we scale it up again. So it fills the screen. We're back to the 600D. We've got another screencast here. So again, we want to scale this up. Now, remember on this video, I was really um, mucking around when I was changing around, looking at lots of different uh, things, you know, just for the sake of kind of showing you what you can do. Um, you know, switching backwards and forwards. Um, when normally you probably wouldn't switch backwards and forwards quite as much. But um, what, what you can see here that with Premiere Pro, I mean, how easy is this to take a multiple camera setup um, using, you know, cheap old, I mean, you could even use a mobile phone as one of the, one of the cameras and then um, and come up with something that really is um, quite, quite impressive. You know, if, I mean, if you thought it was impressive when you're watching the, be the beginning of this video. And again, we're just scaling this one up to fill the screen, like so. I think that's probably it, is it? As we go to the, oh no, there's even more, 600D main. And you kind of, uh, you're getting the idea now, aren't you? How we're going through and we're just changing it. So, what we should see now is if we now play this little bit of the video, um, if there we go, so let's, let's go forward a little bit to a, a better one where I'm actually talking about it. Let's see how let's see how well this works. So that's me talking, and you're going to be looking in the top right hand corner. And um, let's turn the volume up a little bit, so maybe you'll be able to hear what goes on. There we go. This camera, fabulous quality. Hope you can see that as well. My second camera is a Fujifilm S5700, which is gamely recording. Sorry, gamely recording at 60 by 480 that used to I haven't used this camera for several years it was my first contact cam first compact camera really good there we go looks right so then got a third camera which is this um, which is my Logitech webcam now the idea with the webcam um, attached on a little gorilla pod is that I'll be able to sort of so you can really see there how I put the video together that was at the beginning of um, this particular video you're watching now. And then the final thing you can go through as well, you can go through and you can add, um, whoop, you can add your transitions. So in between your different clips, you just double click them and then you can add a transition, you know, from over on the left or if you've got a default transition set up, you can add that until you get nice little fades in between. So there we go. I hope in my own way, I've managed to show you how you can easily record a multi-camera setup with separately recorded audio and bring it all together in Premiere Pro. Remember, do it over here on the left-hand side in the project bin. Select all the ones you, all the, uh, all the video files you want, and then the magic thing is right-click, create multi-camera source sequence. It really is magic. Um, it really is absolutely fantastic it'll change the way you record and uh, produce your videos. My name's Rob from robnonphoto.com and um, thanks for watching.